Hey friends, I just wanted to take a second to thank the partnership of today's video, Ana Luisa. I started working with Ana Luisa in March, and over Mother's Day, they came up with the idea to send a piece for free across the world to my mom. As you know, my mom is in Canada, I'm here in the Netherlands, and I thought this was such a sweet way to have a physical piece of each other, even though we're so far apart. As you can see, she really, really, really loved them. I sent her the Frida earrings and I thought this was really special because I have the same pair so it's very nostalgic for us since we used to match all the time when I was really little. She was so excited she wanted to show my dad as well. I really appreciate Ana Luisa's carbon neutral packaging and sustainability focuses since it allows me to make meaningful connections across the world while still being environmentally conscious. In addition to what they sent my mom, I also received my own pair of the Fridas, just in a bit of a smaller size. I also received the Jolines, which are a bigger hoop but still really light on the ear, and I also wear these nearly every day. I also received the Harleys, uh, earrings that you twist in, and I usually wear these as a double piercing because it gives the appearance of actually having three piercings which I think is really lovely so I usually will pair these with another piece or wear them on their own so if you're looking for some jewelry for yourself or to bless a loved one with check out Ana Luisa I really think there'll be something on there that is special and nostalgic and just perfect for you you can use my code Ariel20 for 20% off and without further ado let's get back into the video less than a week I have a statistics exam that I feel like I know absolutely nothing for so we're gonna bake some bread tonight pans and such and I've never baked bread before but I just felt like it, it needed to be done it just what can I say so I found this recipe and it's for cottage cheese bread and to be honest, I don't like cottage cheese, like, it's just a texture thing, like, for me, it's just texture. So I felt like, if I was making this as a bread, perhaps, and I mean, it looks beautiful. I'll put the, the, the recipe I'm gonna follow here, and we'll just see how badly it goes. If it goes horribly, obviously, don't, don't, don't go with the recipe. I have 
have a, a major fatal flaw when it comes to cooking, and it's the reason why so many things I do turn out disastrous. Um, and it's the fact that I refuse to measure things if I feel like in my mind I can do it better myself. So like with this, could I very easily take out a scale and measure 50 grams? Yes. Am I going to? No. 50 grams is just a quarter of this, so if it's... <laughs> Like, we can cut this in half, and then cut it in another half, and bam, 50 grams, easy. It's gotta be about right. <laughs> sticky dough okay this part of cooking where you're where it's too thick for a mixer but too sticky for your hands and, and this happens like bro okay give me give me a second Double it. I'll do it. 